There we are. Oh my goodness. Hello. It has been a minute, right? Since oh my I've God. been on here. Gosh, I don't even know when the last time was that I've been on here, actually. Oh, it's been a couple months for me. So yeah. hey y'all. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> Hello. We're so excited to see everybody. YouTube, Facebook, mm. all the people. So Yay, we're, we're excited in, about this. We're in summertime. Right. Most kids are out of school. Yeah, I think um, the big city beside us, Iowa City, just got done today. So, Oh, um, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so our kids in West Branch here have been out since the Friday before Memorial Day. And I am so thankful for that. Like, yeah, that was good. Great thinking on the administration's part for sure. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and dive right into this at 701. Say hi as you can, as you get right on and we'll um, get started here. So good evening. I'm Stacey Waters and welcome to one compact makeup. Yay. <laughs> Did you know that Mary Kay is the OG of the reusable compact, right? And we can't wait to show you how you can have all of your makeup in one convenient location. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Good evening, ladies. I'm Chantel. Been a while since I've seen you. Um, <laughs> as many of you know, we do our live here every, um, right now we're doing every other Tuesday night. Yeah. I'm um, giving everyone a little bit of break the summertime, you know, let everyone out to enjoy the weather. Um, so we decided to go live at only two weeks each month. Um, so be sure to stay tuned within our group. So you see what dates those are and, yes. um, your consultant could be sending those dates out to you. So, you know, because they're not always just every other with, you know, some months having extras. So yeah. just stay tuned and keep those dates in mind. Um, summer gets a little bit of crazy. Um, but the good news is we are still going to cover a variety of topics using all of our Mary Kay products. Um, if this is your first time joining us, thank you and welcome. Um, let us know in the comments how you found us. Maybe someone invited you to a party or maybe you joined the fun because you saw it shared on a girlfriend's Facebook page. Once you're done introducing yourself in the comments, don't forget to share us. Share us with your friends by clicking that share button. I am confident that you will learn something new, um, some new makeup application techniques that you didn't know before. Um, so why not share them with all your friends? Yeah. All right. And as you are sharing there, we are going to jump right into the glamour tonight. Um, but first, I want to share an app with you that I want to remind you about. Mary Kay has created an app called Mirror Me. It can be downloaded from your app store or on Google Play. It's a live action makeup try on session with instant facial recognition. You can try individual products or entire looks created by our makeup artists. Mm -hmm. Of course, great makeup always begins with great skin. And here our goal is to provide you with both. So if you have not gotten together with your consultant yet regarding your skincare routine, check out the Skin Analyzer app. It's a quick way to figure out the health of your skin right now. It will suggest the products to improve or maintain the skin you've got. Perfect. Okay. So before we get started tonight, um, we want to share what we plan on using this evening, right? So the stars of the show are going to be our Endless Performance Cream to Powder Foundation, the Limited um, Edition Cream, Cheek, and Lip Colors, mm -hmm. and the Pro Palette. So the Cream um, to Powder Foundation, it comes in 16 shades, is heat and humidity resistant, so great for summertime, mm -hmm. right? has a 12 hour wear and has buildable coverage that glides on as a lightweight cream and dries to a soft powdery finish. Mary Kay, I don't know if you've known this, but Mary Kay has had cream to powder foundation um, since this, this particular formula since 2015. And before that, there was a cream foundation and a different formula. And so we've had cream makeup for a while now, you know, and it fits 
very conveniently in our palette. However, since cream makeup is trending right now, it's kind of become a trendy thing, uh, Mary Kay decided to release the limited edition cream cheek and lip colors that we'll also be using tonight. And they come in four different shades right now. There's um, Lux Lilac, Mauve, Sunset, Peach Shimmer, and Spiced Berry. If you got your um, lookbook in the mail, you got to kind of peek at what those colors and stuff look like. So um, the Pro Palette, that's what I have right here in my hand, um, has a magnetic base that allows you to customize your palette just for you. And I love that it's environmentally and economically friendly, um, meaning you don't have to just throw away the whole palette when your favorite color is gone, right? So you just have to purchase the color that you used up because it was your favorite one. You pull the old tin out and then you pop the new one back in. And did you know that Mary Kay has been using refillable compacts for 30 years now? Like what a money saver, right? For My like, mom had them when I was a kid. Yes. They were so the they oval. Yes. They weren't always magnetic like this one is. Yep. Um, I think. Correct. It had a button that like, popped out. Yes, it popped in and out. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I think going to a magnetic one is pretty genius because yeah. um, like it's we said, you can definitely <laughs> customize it however yeah. you want. They don't there. move. Yeah, don't move. And like I said, you can pop the um, tins in and out, these little metal things that um, when they get empty, you don't have to buy the whole palette again. You can just buy the one single item that you're needing. So like, I love this palette. Just put this one in this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all bright, bright Brand and shiny. New. Right? <laughs> okay. So as we're going along, um, comment any questions that you may have as we apply our shades tonight. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, we'll keep our eye on the comments, but we'll kind of talk about what we're using as we go along. So here we go. Right? It's really funny. First, look at personalities and how we organize them. <laughs> <laughs> yep, mine just went this way, right? Like, <laughs> okay, so I have basically I what I have here are um three different shades of the cream to powder foundation right here, and then this one is our um press powder as well. Love, love our press powder for any of our foundations. I love it for touch up, I love it for extra coverage over top of your um your 3d foundations. This is amazing. Um, but what I have is three different shades here. I'm going to use this one as our highlighter shade. This is my actual like base shade color. And then this one I'm going to actually use, um, for contouring then too. Okay. Um, I also have in here, this is our, um, powder highlighter. Um, this is the new, uh, cheek color, the cheek and lip duo and mauve. What was that color? Dang it. Oh, and I left my box. Oh, I was going to be so organized. Man. Mauve oh, sunset. I knew it was a mauve. Um, and then I just have, you know, five eyeshadow colors right over here. Which all look very similar to the five eyeshadow yeah, they're colors like, that I have. Yeah. It's rustic and espresso and hazelnut and cinnabar and moonstone probably so it'll be very easy mm -hmm. so, so funny yeah. thing is they all saw your colors i yeah. am a neutral skin tone mm -hmm. so my three shades are yeah. that different oh like, i see for my contour yeah. my color and my highlight Okay. Because of neutrals, the way that we shift within our, our color tone, um, there's only like four of them. And so there's not, maybe five. So there's not a lot of drastic. Um, so we're going to give it a go and do the same kind of thing with a contour highlight. Um, okay. But I am going to do the peach shimmer in our new cheek and lip mm, to kind so of play pretty. off more of like a summer bronzy look. Um, and then also have my neutral colors over here um in um biscotti candlelight hazelnut and i think that one is hot fudge yeah um so kind of going neutral um play up the summer colors a little bit yeah <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm actually going to start with some of the highlighting colors. Um, I'm going to start with the, uh, you know, the lightest shade first, and then I'm going to add on my base color, and then I'll go in with um, contouring then too. I like to, you know, you see those like popular makeup videos that they kind of dot everything on and then do it all at one time and stuff. I like to have more control over where my colors and stuff go, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to put it on that way. Um, but it's the same concept, concept. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? And I'm using a different type of brush. So I am going to, yep, dab it on and then blend. So I'm going to use, um, our liquid foundation brush rather than the sprush that Stacy's using. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. um, just give it a slightly different, um, but yeah, going in and highlighting, Uh-huh. So I love this uh, cream to powder foundation. I do have drier skin. Um, so, you know, it's it's um, because of the powdery finish that does a great job. Like you don't even really need a powder over top of this one when you're done with it. Um, it does a great job of keeping, staying in place and, and just setting. Um, but I have to use a, a CC cream underneath it. So um, and the reason why is I like to use the CC cream to give my skin a little bit more moisture um, as I'm using this cream to powder. But I use a CC cream underneath all my foundation. So it's not just because of this foundation, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just like the CC cream, I guess. But it really is a very pretty finish um with this cream to powder foundation great coverage very very easy um to apply mm -hmm. i'm just putting it on my brush like this and just basically uh rubbing it around <laughs> it's pretty no-brainer what is your experience with it chantel um, I do not use this one very much. Yeah. Same. Um, and I did put CC cream on beforehand tonight, um, mostly to decrease my redness. Um, and yes, give that base layer, um, ahead of time. Um, it's not my favorite because for me, it feels heavy. Um, oh, does but it really? It does. Oh, okay. Um, I don't. I don't get that heavy feeling. Yeah, and and I don't know. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because my skin already holds more moisture. Um, where yours is a little bit dry. I mean, mine's. I, I don't know. It's weird because I feel like my skin is dry, but I don't know. It gives me. I I don't love the feeling of it. Um, I I well, in this time of year, I use more of the CC cream, the more lightweight. Um, yeah. But I do I mean, like it is easy to push around yes um and i'm looking and feeling like i could have used a darker color but i didn't really have <laughs> much no i think i went with nope i did not i went with ivory um three instead of the beige but i have it right here and since it's buildable We'll just put some over the top. Oh, excuse my dog. He thinks he's saving my life. He's not, but he thinks he is. So just, you know, let him think that, I guess. <laughs> he's so brave. I think he's the trying air to help. kicked on, honestly. Though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really love um, this brush right here for... Um, this cream to powder, it just kind of nicely pushes it around. It has a little bit more density um, to it. So, and what I'm doing is I'm basically um, for the, for the contouring portion of it, I'm putting it where I want it to go with my finger. And then I'm just moving it around with the brush, um, giving it, you know, kind of um, blending it out, I guess, with the brush, you know. But yeah, no, I, I do like this stuff. 
it's just a different type of foundation, you know? Yeah. Yep. Different, different. Uh, and that's why we have different types. Yeah. So that people can find which one they prefer, what suits them best. Yeah. And it's truly, like I said, I put that, um, uh, uh, press powder in here because I still like to like set underneath my eyes a little bit, but it is so soft and smooth. Like the finish of it is not tacky at all. No, um, it dries really I good. love the look of it. I think it looks very, um, professional and very like, um, high end, you know, um, like I'm really going to do something with my life. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> You really can do anything well with the right foundation. What's that? So you can do anything with the right foundation. You got it, sister. Okay. Like I said, I am going to use a little bit of that um, pressed powder just to kind of set underneath my eyes. Um, in the If we weren't, you know, doing everything in one compact makeup, because I do have dark circles, I maybe would have done some under eye corrector, but I think it looks... I think it looks good. Like, I don't think it's I think the highlighter necessary. Did, like, highlighting it there did a good yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. I did too. So the coverage is like a little bit thicker, like I said, um, than our other foundations basically. So I do like it. Okay. I'm very happy with it. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, um, some eye makeup next. What do you think Chantel? Yep. Okay. Um, gonna... so all in my compact, I'm going to just start with the hazelnut, um, which is my go-to, you know, my trusty sidekick here. And I'm just going to put it right in to the crease. Oh my gosh. I cleaned my brushes last night. Woo. They're going to go on so good. This makeup is going to go on so easy and like not be muddy or you know, not be the color mm -hmm. I want it to be. So I, I am starting with, by pushing um, Onyx Mineral Color into my lashes for a liner. Sure. I push that into my base lash, the base of my upper lashes to create the look of an eyeliner. Very nice. Okay, so quick hazelnut. Um, I'm going to go with... I'll be at hazelnut then after yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to do... Um, rustic oh gosh i'm getting this rustic right here that's rustic i'm gonna do that um kind of in the outer quarter of my eye here and then up into the crease then a little bit over not top of that hazelnut oh yeah i like that maybe i'm gonna go about half halfway on the lid change my mind i'm doing halfway on the lid and then into that outer crease then. And I'm doing hazelnut in the crease and up onto the brow bone, really um, getting it a little bit deeper in the crease. Deeper color. Um, but I'll go hazelnut up to my brow bone. I have a hooded eye, so any color I want to be seen has to go up onto the brow bone. So when my lids are open, you can actually see some color. Mm-hmm. And then I come in with the base of the biscotti on my eyelid. Just a little bit, enough to establish that base there. And then something different I've been doing lately is putting my, um, already forgot, um, the hot fudge and yeah. taking like a little smudger brush and just running it along my lash line but I've been doing it before my next color to kind of, it really smudges it a little bit more instead okay. of a very defined line. So at first it looks like it's a lot because it looks like a, a wider line. So then huh. when my eyes open, it's like, woo. Yeah. It's a lot, that. but once I get that in there and, and right up against the lashes, mm -hmm. then I come back in with all, our, our, all of our eye brush and I bring the candlelight back. Okay. Over. 
um, just on the eyelid over where I started with the biscotti. And then I have more of a smudgy. Look at that. Um, line. Well, that's cute. Versus a very defined eyeliner line. Yeah. Or, nice. And it gives okay. it just a little bit of a smoky look. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that with my um, espresso. Yeah. So I do okay. it yeah, first. And I then... put Moonstone right here. Yeah. 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 So I think I'm going to do that with this. So I've been doing it first and then just touching up to it makes it a little bit more smudgy. And yeah. I also noticed then you don't have transfer from that darker line with your eyelashes coming, you know, your lids opening. Yeah. And then I'm going to take our blending brush and grab a little more biscotti and I bring it into the inner corner just a little bit to brighten it up, blending where that hazelnut was, and then up on the brow bone. Again, just sweeping it back and forth, blending that hazelnut, but going up on the brow bone to lighten up that area. Okay, so once you put the color in, you went back in with the lighter color that you used. So yeah. I'm going to go back in with the moonstone. Yeah. Over top, over top of that. And then it just kind of leaves it smudged at the bottom near your lashes. Nice. I don't ever go back over top. I do. I do the smudging thing. Yep. Yep. But I never go back over the top. With I was the lighter finding color. that sometimes I was getting it more than I wanted. Mm -hmm. and so then I was having to touch up with the other color. Um, and so I just started doing it ahead of time. All right. And okay. I'm just putting a little bit of mahogany mm -hmm. under the lashes here. Yep. I went in and did some hazelnut just down underneath a little. Hmm. Okay. All right. Anybody have any questions as we're doing this, you know, be sure to comment, ask questions. Um, that's what we're here for is to help you mm -hmm. help you boo boo okay um okay same thing with my cheeks i'm just gonna take this mauve sunset i'm gonna put a little bit on my fingertip mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna kind of press it where i want it to go um what i have been using to blend this one out is actually a clean cheek color brush and i've just been going back and forth like this and blending it right where I want it to go. It's very, um, it's very like subtle. Like you just kind of got sun cast, right? It mm -hmm. looks scary, right? It does look scary at first. Um, but moving it back and forth mutes the tone just a little bit. And Chantel using sunset peach right Chantel the peach shimmer yeah so yeah, it gives it shimmer, just, yeah. shimmer. I do have a little much on but it gives it kind of a sun kiss because it does it have a little shimmer to it oh so pretty but it's not a super bold color mm -mm. I actually yeah. saw one of the directors use it um as a base on her eyelid oh yeah and then put like the highlighter over yeah just a very light golden like shimmer for summertime like a bronzy yeah. nice i'm just gonna take a touch of the highlighter on the top of the um cheek brush there if you're lucky enough to still have our highlighting stick this would be mm -hmm. wonderful to use there as well um but in the in the sense of using a only the compact for our makeup, right? We need to use things that fit into our compact, right? Okay. And then since this is a lip and cheek duo, I am going to use this. Did you put mascara on? Oh, no, I didn't put mascara on. I was like, did I? I were you that fast? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Not at all. I look like a... a naked mole rat over here <laughs> <laughs> without mascara so coming in with my um fanorama because it is my favorite you know it and then 
for my daily look, Fanorama does it, you know, like three coats. But if <laughs> I'm going out, we'll throw on some lash intensity over top of that. Yeah, sister. Yeah, yeah. We like those big, long lashes. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, that's okay. But I like it with mascara. Yes. Because I've tried, I've tried um, lash extensions. Uh -huh. I love them on people. They really do look great. You know, they provide a, you know, a no makeup look. Yes. Very, very easily. But I just could not get on board with them when I, I wanted to like have clean eyelashes at the end of the day and not have to like be really gentle and careful with them. And I was always so mad when I spent the money on them and then they fell out, you know? Yeah. But. I did like them for my um, vacation that I was in the water the whole time, you know? Sure, we didn't have to nice. worry about mascara. Didn't have to worry about it. But not an everyday love for me. Well, and I think it's because we've gotten so used to what our mascaras can do for us. Yeah. And let's be honest, you and I have been blessed with lashes. Where well, there's some people that just aren't. True. That I would, yeah. I would say that's very true. Um, but I do love a good, like, uh, strip false lash. Strippy strips. Uh-huh. False lash to put on. Oh, love that. Ladies, stay extra. tuned because seminar will be coming and we'll have oh, them on. No. We're going to get out the ball gowns. And oh, my gosh. I cannot heels. wait. Got mine ordered. Yeah. We're going to have all the good things out sashes can you see the difference between like i did lash intensity on this side or is it in my oh head oh my gosh yeah okay i didn't know how even like, on me i have two coats on this this side yeah kind of looks funny i'm right up here in your in your face guys oh all glammed up i know to get ready for bed Right. I think I might try to catch the end of my daughter's softball game. Oh my gosh, you should. Yeah, I know. I'll be yeah. looking. Are they at home today? Ball field. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Okay, take these out. Fluff the hair. And lips. Put the lips on. And I'm just going to do this. So because mine is, it is pretty golden. Uh huh. Maybe just just a little bit enough to give it. Give my lips some shape after my foundation. Okay. When I when Mary Kay came out with these, and they're like, "Oh, use them on your lips too," and I was like, "Really? They're really smooth. They're very smooth." And they're they're not like chalky. They don't they uh -oh. don't feel weird on my lips. Some because sometimes they've not they've thick. had what not thick either. Like when mm -hmm. I like to went to wipe it, I was like, oh, that yeah. is yes. They're I like smooth. them a lot. Yeah, it's clearly a formula used for lips and cheeks, and I am very happy with it. So well, I mean, if we're gonna be honest, we go back to grandma who used to take her lipstick before church and put yeah. it on and dab it on and rub it in. Yeah. So, well, in Mary Kay, like I said, the, the cream makeup right now is very mm -hmm. trendy. Yeah. Mary Kay used to have cream makeup. Like that is how they did their makeup. They were in little pots, you know, that you yep. unscrewed with the lid and stuff like that. So all everything, just like our clothes come back into style. Right. Yeah. And then they go out of style and we come up with new things. So that's why Mary Kay uses things like their limited edition to be on trend for something mm -hmm. that is going to like fade out, you yeah. know? So the cheek and lip thing, you know, that might fade out. Rock it now while it's here. Yeah. But get it now. Okay. That is all I have uh, as far as stuff to put on. So yeah. how do you like the look? Okay. Chantal, I'll bring you up. First, okay. that peach is really pretty. That looks great on your lips. I actually, I didn't use as much as I did when I was first testing it out. Yeah. Um. So it gives it just 
A little bit. Now I am someone that I don't like my lips to feel dry. I don't love matte lipstick. I don't like my mm -hmm. lips to be really dry. So I probably would have put lip balm underneath maybe. Um, yes. It doesn't feel drying. It just feels like it, it's something that's going to stay on and last like a matte would. Yeah. Um, and so I may put some lip balm or even a gloss over the top. You just, know what? Um, mm -hmm. those limited edition, uh, duos that come, mm -hmm. those lip balm duos, oh. I have found that those feel more like a lip oil, yeah. like more slick versus like our, our, yeah. um, this is a balm. This is mm -hmm. like thick shea butter balm. Right. So, yeah. but the other one works fantastic over sure. top of this, um, cheek color then too. So, yeah. okay. Well. Here I am. Mm -hmm. So I do really, really like this, you know, nice yes. finish um, to the face with these cream to powders. Um, that looks darker on you than I was expecting. I do have a lot of like red, red, pink in yeah. my lips to begin with. But yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then same color on the cheeks and then yes. eyes all in your handy dandy palette, right? Perfect for travel, especially. Yeah, it is. Like okay. a lot less to pack. So these are products, like I said, I don't personally use them every day um, or very often, but it's so fun to get them out and play with them and show you how they work. They are very fantastic. Every time I get them out, I'm like, oh, I should use these more often. <laughs> well, so tonight's specials are all about getting you the perfect palette um, ready for your summer look. So let me bring up, there you go. Okay. So since you may have some of these pieces already in your, um, inventory, I guess your home inventory, uh, this is what we're going to do. One item, 10% off, purchase two items, get 15% off, purchase three items, get 20% off then too. Okay. So that is the special for tonight. All right. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Our final code word is compact. Don't forget to share it with your consultant. Um, and we will be back here um, Tuesday evening in two weeks mm -hmm. to take a look at how to take care of your skin during the summer. Because if you didn't know that, our skin changes quite a bit with the seasons. Yes. Um, so they will give you some new tips and the best um, products for that. Um, and we want you to remember, we always offer a one-time, anytime discount when you share your Tuesday night with the girls. This will give you the opportunity to get the products that you love for free. And if you are looking for a more permanent discount, we would love to welcome you into our Pink Bubble as a consultant. It's only $30 to start, and it immediately gives you access to a 50% discount. So if you're looking for more money this, um, this summertime, vacations, Nights at the ballpark. Yeah, um, getting ready you know, for back to school. Yes, back to school as our kids are going to need new school clothes and stuff, yeah. new shoes. Because I don't know about you, but mine grew like three inches. You know? Yes. Um, or making it now. Yes, yes. Or if you're just looking to get your products, um, you know, at a discount, um, just be sure to check in with your consultant to see how to get started today. Yes. Okay. So once again, thank you for joining us tonight. Or if you're watching on playback, we love that too. Thank you for joining us there. Um, we invite you to come back in two weeks, same time, same place. Have a good night. Bye.